First, uh, when I entered this hall, I like checking where I am. I saw from whatever is written here, hashtag fears fallen. Your Excellency, the fear has not fallen, that's why we are here. So, and uh, uh, first thing first, uh, Mr. President, I've been privileged to be under your administration in two capacities. Uh, one, I, I enjoyed your administration when you were an MP in Eldoret North. Yeah, we used to learn apo kamagut, apo chini, karibu na kwenu. Yes. And uh, secondly, I've also experienced your leadership now that you are the president. Mr. President, I can assure you they are totally different. Uh, from when you were MP, people used to go to the street to celebrate your achievements. Nowadays, we just go to the streets to demonstrate. Yeah. And uh, Mr. President, uh, don't get me wrong in the first place. Uh, the reason is why I know when you are the president, it comes with a lot of responsibility and people to, to advise. And uh, I will start off by saying those who advised in this new funding model, uh, I will not be wrong to say there is a problem. And that's why they, we are here. We have to go back to the drawing board. We have to start off afresh. And uh, my question is, Mr. President, the first question is, what was so wrong with the old funding model that we could not sit down and amend it? Because uh, even a constitution of a, of a country, you just don't wake up one day and bring a new constitution. We always go and say, we go to the parliament, they amend it, and they take, to, they take it to the president to ascend and sign it. So I feel we should go back to the old funding model and uh, amend it. Because, Mr. President, we don't, like, we don't lack stakeholders, we don't lack resources. These people sitting here, what one of law, nursing, medicine, there are brains here which can sit down in those panels and say, where did we go wrong? 